hello, my name is Sophia Dion. Um, I'm a spiritual artist and I offer a service of paintings that come from healing uh, for you to meditate with, which offer a calming and contemplative effect. Well, from an early age, uh, really, from my early teens, I, I knew that I always wanted to run my own business, um, just not knowing what in. Um, and I always had a love for art. It was just a passion that I was naturally gifted with. So um, I decided to take my passion and run with that. But I, um, I've had various nine to five jobs, but always wanted to, to do something for myself. And this is it. Well, during the first lockdown, um, I uh, came across an art hub group on Facebook and um, decided to join them and follow their workshops and see what they were doing. Um, and then I decided to take up a subscription for them. Um, and with their help of the organizer and not only that, her, it's the, the members as well. Uh, they've been a great source of help. Um, we have, um, weekly lives, I think it's three sessions. We have a, um, a, an hour and a half paint session that we all get to be creative together. And I find that really exhilarating to be amongst other artists, even through the platform of, of the internet and, and, and work together and give advice that way. And also with the Slough Hub, it's been having my mentor who has given me some, some fabulous ideas and advice. So yeah. Slough Hub has been great because I've learned so much from him, you know, things that I would never think of myself um, because, you know, business is one thing, but the behind the scenes of the art world and the business, it's a whole other um, layer. Um, so, yeah, he given me pointers as to where to sell my works and to put my my items in an area of entry points and middle and high um whereas I, I do like prints on products so they would be my entry points then i have my art prints that would be my middle ground and then obviously my originals which is my 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 big the big thing <laughs> so um yeah um it's a it's a lot of great advice and also the workshops in marketing um, social media has been a, another thing um, which has been an eye opener as in knowing as and when to post and what to post um, and planning your content um, is very important as I'm learning in the process. Um, I would say I've, I've learned organizers, organization skills, definitely. Um, and it's a, a bit of a bittersweet because at the time you want to just get on and just paint and, and get your, your work and create out there. Um, there's the technical side, there's the paperwork side, there's also keeping, you know, a tab on your, your income and outgoings. Um, so that I've learned also through the art hub that I'm with, but also learning with the Slough Hub also. Um, it's, yeah, it's about organisation and, and planning uh, is a great deal. Um, so on a personal level, that's got me being more well-rounded where it comes to knowing what to post and keeping hold of seasons as well. Because I never really thought of, you know, going with like the Boxing Day and the Christmas Day and everything like that. I just do it as and when. But I think it's important to know what seasons are where and then utilise those for your business um, to get your, your product and service out there. In the beginning, I, I suppose um, it was a struggle to deal with juggling the administrative work with with the creative side as well. Um, but as I said, it's, I'm saying it's not so much as a struggle, more as a, a lesson learned. And in this process, you will be making mistakes. You will um, learn from those mistakes. You know, that's where you get your experience from. So um, I, I think I learned more about my social media and how to be seen. I think 
nowadays Instagram can be fa fabulous for it was all about just the pictures and that shot where it's now more videos are more um, appealing um, because people get across how you can get from you how you come across in videos and you know it can be personable so I think you know don't be afraid to to show yourself as well that's that's the big thing that I'm learning and I'm yet to to add more content on my own platforms. Well, um, first and foremost, I would say it's great if you can go for a passion. So anything that you're good at, a gift, uh, you know, a hobby that you can turn into a business that you are passionate about, I, I feel they're the winners for you. Um, slow and steady wins the race. So taking baby steps um, and as long as you touch your business every single day. I mean, I've had um, previous businesses before, um, but my heart wasn't in them. And I, I feel like when your heart is in something, it's gonna give you something to get up for, um, aim for. And, um, you know, don't, don't be afraid to fail, just learn and move on. Um, just let go of the, the, the outcome and yeah marry the process just go with it um being organized is another one um most definitely and having a plan of action uh how you're going to post what you're going to post um, um how you're going to reach out from your website the subscriptions lists um and believe in the vision uh, i'm i'm into like visualizations and meditation so I believe spending time in just visu visualizing how you want your life to be, how you want your business to be, what will be the final outcome. Just keep that in mind and focus on that. Um, and uh, another one would be taking advice from those who have been before you. Um, even if they're a few steps ahead on, on the ladder, they haven't got there yet, but they're a few steps ahead. Learn from their errors and you know it's it's taking the wisdom from other people as well who have have been there before you um and delegate i would say delegating when you're a, a sole trader um, and you haven't got such a, a grand team delegate from like doing the housework getting your family or someone to help you i know in this pandemic we can't at the moment but but getting that help there so you can focus on, on driving your business forward, um, such as um, social media, anywhere you feel it's your week, social media, technical support, um, emailing, graphic design and getting a logo um, sorted. If you can outsource that, outsource it. Um, or get your children involved if you if you uh, if you have children around you that can help you even from a distance. They're great at technical stuff. So uh, on a personal level, I have <laughs> my daughter is my editor for a lot of my videos, and she's fantastic at doing that. It's her passion. So I drive her passion by giving her something to do with my business. Also, um, yeah, uh, taking action photos for you as well. So I think the whole rounded way to put it is you know teamwork makes the dream work and having that in mind um it but focusing that it all starts with you 